previously. This is how criticism works, and this is how you explain to a company you don't agree with these practices, and this is how you get what you want. <laughs> There's two main comments I usually get on my videos, one being, wow, I went into this video not expecting much, but you're actually a good content creator, why don't you get more attention? Which by the way, if you want to remedy that, maybe you like this video shared around a little bit if you enjoy it, helps me out tremendously. And two comments being something along the lines of, stop complaining. Allow me to read this little article to you. Nintendo will hold on to your Switch Online cloud saves for six months after you let your subscription lapse. Fears of losing your cloud saves after losing losing your subscription, they are now put to rest. So to the people saying, I'm content with this service, I'm not gonna complain about it, just be happy for what you get, suck it. To the people that complain about somebody having a criticism against a company that doesn't give the slightest fuck about them, you can suck it. And to the people that were telling the people that were complaining about the Spyro Reignited trilogy only having one game out of the three trilogy on the physical release to just get over it, your game is delayed until November so you can suck it, even though it's kind of unconfirmed at this point as to if they're actually delaying it for that reason or not. I'm still gonna just tell you to suck it. We don't agree with the business's practices, we don't opt into their decisions, and they make changes? Wow, imagine that. But in all fairness to Nintendo, they did a good thing by offering this. So theoretically, now you don't have to own a yearly subscription for your saves to be safe. Now let's clear up any confusion here. You're not actually able to access these cloud saves if your subscription isn't active, but they will still be stored in the cloud. So theoretically, Theoretically, you would only have to pay for the Nintendo Online subscription every six months to ensure that you have your cloud saves backed up. So regardless of the reason of Nintendo actually going ahead and giving us this window of opportunity, it's a good thing that they did it and I think that that should be highlighted. Although the fact that Splatoon 2 doesn't still offer cloud saves blows my freaking mind. I don't understand that. God, I sound like such a dweeb. I know, well, I'm talking about Nintendo in a YouTube video that gets 50 views, so of course I'm a dweeb. So this is going to be a little weird interjection here you probably wouldn't even have noticed if I didn't really say anything but I actually recorded and rendered this video yesterday to go up today but today we actually got the news that Sony is offering cross-platform play on Fortnite with the PS4 so if you needed any further proof that complaining actually does do something well here you go if you can't see it now I don't know what to tell you then you got Xbox in the Twitter comments throwing up the hand emojis just kind of playing nice acting like everything's all good imagine a big party where Sony is one of the three companies that are gonna be at this event and they're supposed to be the ones bringing all the alcohol. They show up extremely late, but not only that, they only bring one bottle of liquor when they were supposed to bring like 12. They're basically just throwing us a bone here with the Fortnite thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to always make these videos about the negatives, about companies not doing this, that, and the other. So I feel like it's only obligatory. Is that a word? I kind of feel like I have to make videos on the positive. I gotta make videos showing the negative of what these companies are doing, but also highlight the positive of the change that can come around is when you as a consumer actually complain about something. I don't know what else to add to this video other than to tell people to open, open your, your minds, minds man. man. The, the world's, world's a big conspiracy theory. But I really think that this is a point that needs to be stressed here. If I don't like the facial animations in Shinmu 3 after they've gotten over six million dollars in a Kickstarter fund, I think I have the right to complain about it. If I think the hundred dollar mystery box edition of Black Ops 4 sucks ass, then I'm gonna think it sucks ass. We may not agree on it. Sure, you enjoy your overpriced premium Call of Duty experience. I don't think it's worth the money. Just know that if you particularly think something about a game or a product is not good enough and you defend the company anyways, you're never gonna get what you want. You can like something and think it could be better. Do we need to go back to the iPhone headphone jack thing again? I only want the best for myself and other consumers, so if I think something's good, then I'm gonna think it's good. If I'm gonna think something's not good, then I'm gonna think it's not good, and if you disagree with me, you can suck it. But yeah, I guess to wrap this video, video up, the uh, overall message I'm trying to send in this video is uh, drink margaritas and suck it. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I think that was pretty good.